Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane and welcome back to the Miami Dolphins franchise. Now, the reason this is a separate video and it's not put into the week 17 video is because I'm not too sure when I can do the offseason stream. I might have done it by now. We might be doing it a few days after this. I'm not too sure. Now, something we did not check out last video is how long Tyree Jackson is injured for. I know it's just a broken hand, so probably not that long, but I am a little concerned. Only out for five weeks. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Love is still out for three more weeks. Kasiki's still out for two more weeks. But let's go take a look at the stats, the awards, everything involved with that. We went 4-12. and 12. We did not get fired, though, I don't think. So Tyree Jackson, 3,000 yards, 13 touchdowns, 23, 23 interceptions. Wow, that's unbelievably bad. RG3, 500 yards, I only had one touchdown, 9 interceptions. God awful. Tyree Jackson, our leading rusher. 500 yards, 6 touchdowns. Drake, 290 yards with a touchdown. RG3 at 100 yards. Balazs, 34. Love, 16. Parker, 13. All right. Not that bad. I want to get Love's numbers up next season, though. Gesicki, 75 catches, 789, 2 touchdowns. Great season by him. Kenya Drake, 62 catches, 652 with a touchdown. Devontae Parker, 47 catches. I wouldn't have guessed it was that high. Honestly, I wouldn't have. 700 yards, 3 touchdowns. Albert Wilson, 25 catches, 433 with 3 touchdowns. He was a great replacement for Amendola once he went down. Kenny still 17 catches, 251, 3 touchdowns. Amendola injured basically all season. 15 catches, 221, 0 touchdowns. Balazs had a touchdown. Richard Rodgers had a touchdown. Love, 4 for 49. Nick O'Leary, 3 for 29. Not bad. Oh, should we look at the blocking stats? Like, what is, what is that? Let's see the sack totals. 10 for Dante Fowler. A great season by him. McMillan had six. Robert Quinn had five. Tranquil, four and a half for a rookie season. Not too bad. Shane Ray had four. Ed Oliver had three. Another rookie. Rashad Jones had a sack. Spence had a sack. God Cox, I guess is how you'd say the name, had half a sack. Probably not how you say it. Interceptions. Four by Trevor Williams. A great pickup by us. Rashad Jones with two. Fitzpatrick with two. Hardage with two. Tranquil with one. Not bad. What do we have for fumble? Force fumbles. Let's look at that first. We had one forced fumble by McMillan. We had a forced uh, fumble recovery by Rashad Jones. Not bad. What do we have for safeties? At least one. One by McMillan, of course. He's such a great young player. Uh, what do we have for defensive touchdowns? Oh, yes, that's right. Hardage had a defensive touchdown. I think that was against the Packers, if I remember correctly. Maybe against the Ravens. I'm not too sure. Uh, any other things you want to look at? Maybe the, the tackles? Where's total tackles? There we go. 65 by McMillan, Tranquil with 64, Fitzpatrick with 60, Rashad Jones with 56, Trevor Williams with 55, McCain with 42, Hardison and Fowler and Ed Oliver with 41, not bad, Shane Ray with 33, Robert Quinn with 21, Spence with 18, not bad. What do we have for awards? Yearly awards, who's going to get the MVP? Tom Brady, of course. Philip Rivers, Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, Deshaun Watson, Prescott, Melvin Gordon. No one really out of the ordinary other than Matt Barkley. How are you up here? 8-8 eight eight Matt Barkley, sure. Coach of the year, Anthony Lynn. Oh, not Bill Belichick's number two, Shane, uh, Shane, Sean McVay, Zimmer, O'Brien, Patricia, Quinn, Marone, Jackson, Jason Garrett. AFC, Tom Brady, Offensive Player of the Year. That makes sense. Philip Rivers, Gordon, Watson, Mariota, Mayfield, Dalton, Keenum, Bortles, and Carr. No Dolphins. Defensive Player of the Year. We might have somebody up here. Jatavius Brown, Miles Jack, Stefan Gilmore, Talvin Smith, Vince Williams. What is going on here? No Dolphins whatsoever. Offensive rookie, a Drew Locke for the Ravens. Okay, Jackson number two, so close. Richards, Renfro, Brown, Samuel, Montgomery, no other Dolphins. Let's see here, though. Wow, none of our guys are up here? Khalil Hodge, sure. No Dolphins whatsoever. So no Tranquil, no Ed Oliver, no Hardage. I wish you got Nick Bosa at this point. Look at that, number seven. I, I would have loved to have that on our team. Let's see the NFC. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Carson Wentz, Prescott, Elliott, Barkley, Wilson. Can't believe Barkley's still up there. Defensive Player of the Year, Kwan Alexander, Deion Jones, Aaron Donald probably should be up there. Jake Ryan, Barr, Peters, Zach Brown. Okay, Ogletree, Lee, Davis. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Justin Herbert for the Giants. Harris, Johnson, Weber, nothing really too interesting there. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Dakota Allen, Tell, Burns, Jackson, Dennis. Nobody that I was going to pick, though. Let's see, what else do we want to take a peek at? I am going to sim past the Super Bowl and see who wins it, but we'll do that at the end. I do want to take a peek at Danny Amendola's contract before we go find out who won the Super Bowl. I think he's a free agent. Yeah, yeah, he is. That is disappointing. All right, let's go find out who won the Super Bowl. Now, we're going to look at this week by week. So, we're in the wild card round. The Patriots beat the Broncos. 
The Falcons beat the Cardinals of all teams, really. The Texans beat the Browns, and then the Dallas Cowboys obliterated the Detroit Lions. So we should have a good, interesting matchup next week. The Texans beat the Chargers. The Cowboys beat the Rams, really. Patriots beat the Jaguars. That makes sense. The Atlanta Falcons destroyed the Minnesota Vikings 42-7. to So what do we got here? The Patriots lost to the Houston Texans 28-21. And then the Atlanta Falcons beat the Cowboys 14-7. So we have a Houston Texans versus Falcons Super Bowl matchup. And who won it? The Texans beat the Falcons 28-21. Let's take a look. Deshaun Watson, 257 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Matt Ryan had three interceptions, 354, two touchdowns, those three interceptions. Not a good game by him. Devontae Freeman, 17 for 77. Lamar Miller, 15 for 40. Foreman, 6 for 25. Deshaun Watson had a rushing touchdown. Hooper, 8 for 58 with two touchdowns. DeAndre Hopkins, an absolute beast, 7 for 79, two touchdowns. Julio Jones, 7 for 111. Ridley, 7 for 70. Devontae Freeman, 6 for 64. Fuller, 5 for 46. Lamar Miller, 3 for 46. Boyle, 3 for 26. Richards, 3 for 38. And then Dante Foreman, 1 for 22 with a touchdown. What do we have on defense? Any like high sack totals, maybe? We had one by Merciless, one by Reader, half by Sweat and J.J. Watt. Any interceptions? Obviously the two. Cunningham and Hal. Any forced fumbles? Maybe to say the defensive touchdown? No. Safeties? No. Forced fumbles? Nothing. All right. But that is going to be it for this video. I'm sorry it's a little bit of a shorter one. I wanted to get some sort of video up for you guys. Take a little look at the stats, the awards, everything involved with that. But next episode will definitely be, actually, will probably be a recap of what we did in the draft, everything like that. And then next week, we'll have week one, week two, all of that. So if you guys like this video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel. Subscribe for daily Madden 19 content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.